welcome back to my channel guys today we'll be learning how to sew this vicky james inspired trendy structured sleeve so if you something you would like to learn how to to cut and sew just keep watching so i'll be using this fabric to sew mine and um let's assume this black bodies is my you know bodies where i want to fix the sleeve okay so you you have to measure your round armhole your armhole when you must have finished drafting your bodies or sewing your bodies so my armhole here is nine inches so nine inches times two which is your round armhole is 18 inches and we are going to be cutting a half circle flay okay so i folded what you will do is to get the red use of your flare so i folded my this thing my fabric into two normally now the way you cut your half circle flare you're going to get the circumference of the area and divide by 3.14 this is the formula for cutting the half circle flare so my round armhole is um 18 inches and i divided 18 inches by 3.14 and i got i think i got about 5.7 but so whatever you have as your armhole circumference you're going to divide it by 3.14 in order to get the radius okay so i'm just going to i marked my radius like so then i'm going to cut it off okay so get the radius of your your circumference of your armhole rather if your armhole is 20 if it's 18 whatever it is divided by 3.14 to get the radius okay so now i'm going to get the length of my sleeve so i want the length of my sleeve to be nine inches and i'm going to be adding one inch to it to make it 10 inches so from that point my radius were already cut i'm going to measure 10 inches okay and then i'll mark it all the way like i did for the radius so i'm getting nine inches for my sleeve point plus one inch for seam allowance which is 10 inches and i'm going to be marking it all the way like this so we are cutting a half circle flay okay so just get the length of your sleeve it all depends on you but i think nine to ten inches is okay so that it will be a little um above your elbow all right so i'm going to mark it like so and then i'm going to cut it out So now I'm done cutting and I have this. When you open it up, it's going to be like this. This is a half circle flare. Okay, for our sleeve. So I'm going to cut exactly this on my door face. I'll be using a door face to turn this. Okay, you can use a lining, you can even use the same fabric to turn it. It all depends on you or what you want to achieve. I'm going to be using a white door face to turn it. Okay, it kind of gives it um a look a fancy look because the at the end of the day the door face will be showing a little bit so i'm going to place fold my door face into two and just cut exactly what i have on my main piece just cut exactly what you have if you're using a nylon a lining or you're using the same fabric you cut exactly what we have on the main fabric all right so I'm just placing it well so that I can cut what I have, exactly what I have. Make sure that the folded part is also um, facing the folded part of the, the folded part of the door face or whatever you're using to turn your fabric is uh, facing the folded part of the main fabric, all right? Just cut exactly what you have. So first I'm going to cut the top area, which is my red juice.
so i've cut um exactly what i have so i have two pieces one is the main fabric and one is the doll face i'll be using to turn it all right so what i will go ahead and do is i'm going to iron a hard um stay if a hard visible interfacing on my on my gum on my doll face rather i'm going to be um ironing the hard gum stay on my um doll face to make it firm or stiff you know it's a structured sleeve so that it will stand i've already ironed the hard stay on it so you can see okay so what I'm, i'll go ahead and do is to place the both of them together front facing front and i'll join the hem with a quarter of an inch okay just the hem i'm not joining any other place just the hem so i've gone ahead to join it and look at what it looks like i joined it with a quarter of of um, an inch as you can see just the hem then the next thing i want to do now is to um join the size i want to do the inseam joining to give it a clean finishing because i don't want to the sewing allowance to be showing that is the armhole area okay so i'm going to be doing the inseam joining so that the uh, the rough edges and the joining is going to be inside so i'm going to place my uh, fabric like so i'll place it like so front facing front okay and i'll match the two seams together i match the the seams together remember this is our this is where our armhole is going to be like like the armhole um area so i'll match the seams together like this just match everything together i want the seam to be inside that's why i'm doing it like this i'll match it up like this and i'm going to sew it all the way from top to the bottom with a half of an inch all right so match yours up like so and then sew it so i've done that already as you can see so what i'm going to do is to turn this over to the right side so that all those seam and um will be inside all right it's not going to be showing so here is what it looks like when you turn it over then i'm going to flat like iron it flat that is the the seam area this is this area i'm going to arrange it well and iron it flat okay so that it lays so flat and just relaxes very well okay so i'll just go to my ironing board and do that iron everything so that it relaxes very well so you can go ahead and interlock or weave your armhole area all right if you have one before you fix your sleeve so i'm done with the ironing and look at how it's laying flat and is looking so um neat and flat so uh, remember this is the um um the same area that would be around the armhole so i'll just go ahead and trim this excess off okay like i said you can interlock or weave your armhole first before fixing on your sleeve so now this sleeve is it's ready to be fixed on the armhole of your bodies so remember we are using this as an instance let's say this is my body that's my arm hole i'm going to fix my sleeve make sure that the um, seam is matching the same line the same line of the sleeve is matching the same line of your bodies so you're going to start from there and sew it to your sleeve all right then i'll show you how to you know fix it to get that um, sleeve on the mannequin all right so now i fixed this to my sleeve and look at how it's looking it's looking like a, a funnel flay okay so the next thing you're going to do to achieve that effect is to fold it like so just pinch it like so take your time and make it mark match it to the shoulder um seam area it's going to be a little bit far from your um armhole just match it to your shoulder seam and you you would use your um, needle and your matching thread to just you know stitch it down 
just slightly stitch it down and here is what you're going to achieve you see the effects and you see how the white uh, doll face gave it um, a really nice fancy look so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and please comment your thoughts down below